today we will discuss about the effect of IC packages on EMI performance. The origin of electromagnetic interference, EMI, in switched mode power supplies can be traced back to the transient voltages and currents generated during the switching of power metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET, devices. With ever-growing demand for more power as well as higher switching frequencies, it is becoming increasingly challenging to address EMI in regards to device performance and meeting regulatory requirements. I will present an overview of the most widely used package types used for power electronics devices and their influence on EMI. There are three common package types used in power electronics today. Thin Shrink Small Outline Package DSSOP. Quad Flat No Lead Package QFN. Flip Chip on Lead Package FCOL. First, we discussed Thin Shrink Small Outline Package DSSOP. Shown figure is a cross section of a TSSOP and the main building blocks in this type of package design. From this cross section, you can see that the connection between the IC and a certain point on the PCB consists of the IC die, with its corresponding parasitic components, the wire bond connection between the IC and the lead frame, and finally, the leaded physical connection between the IC package and PCB. All of these components in the connection path contribute to a generally higher resistance path, as well as increased parasitic inductance. This package is popular because of ease of assembly, relatively low cost and good thermal performance. Now the question is, how do all of these TSSOP characteristics affect device EMI performance? Increased parasitic inductance will result in larger overshoot on the switch node. Package parasitic components are just a part of the overall picture, however, board layout also plays a very important role. Increased ringing on the switch node will have a direct effect on resulting EMI performance, making it more challenging to meet required EMI regulatory compliance. The ringing frequency is in the 150 MHz to 250 MHz range. Quad Flat No Lead Package QFN. The internal construction of a QFN package is very similar to DSSOP. Figure shows a simplified cross-section of this package. The main advantages of this type of package are ease of use in assembly, good thermal performance and the ability to achieve fine pitch between the package pads. The absence of leaded external pins results in reduced parasitic inductance, resistance. This is visible in reduced overshoot when observing the switch node, as shown in figure. The ringing frequency is noticeably different from the values observed for leaded devices, generally in the 200 MHz to 250 MHz range. Flip Chip on Lead Package FCOL. The FCOL QFN package was developed in an effort to further reduce switch node ringing, as one of the contributors to EMI. In this type of package, there are no wires to connect the IC to the lead frame. Solder bumps are placed on the IC die, the die is then flipped and attached to the lead frame. Figure shows a package cross section. The resulting performance, from the perspective of switch node ringing, is measurably improved because there are no wires connecting the IC to the lead frame and PCB. The connection is much shorter and direct between the IC and outside world. Not surprisingly, when observing the switch node waveform, under the same conditions as for TSSOP and QFN, there is a significant reduction, almost a complete absence, of switch node ringing. Based on your desired performance and application constraints, you should carefully consider package type and important selection criteria. The new device generations show significantly improved performance in terms of switch node ringing. Understand, however, that switch node ringing is just one of the performance parameters that will affect EMI performance in the end application. You will need to account for several other factors such as proper input filtering, 
dashboard layout and the appropriate selection of passive components for optimum performance. You control an electromagnetic interference effect on system level by selecting appropriate IC package to avoid switch node ringing. Thanks for watching.